Simplify. 4 minus 8i divided by 2 plus 3i. When we have a fraction like this, the standard says that we, our, our standard uh, way of writing these in the end is to not have any imaginary number or, or any complex number in the denominator. And the way we can clear out any imaginary numbers is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So right now, let's take a look at what is the conjugate of the denominator. Well, the conjugate is simply just what you see with the sign changed. So here we have a plus sign, so the conjugate is going to be written 2 minus 3i. Likewise, if it were uh, 2 minus 3i to begin with, then the conjugate would be 2 plus 3i. So just write it the same with the sign changed. We're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that conjugate of the denominator. So multiplying this, we go through and we can think of it like FOIL. It certainly is, is not, uh, these aren't polynomials because the i's are not, they are not variables here. They represent the imag imaginary component. Uh, but we can think of it like that. So we've got 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times negative 3i is negative 12i, and negative 8i times 2 is negative 16i, and negative 8i times negative 3i is negative 24i squared. In the denominator, we have 2 times 2 and 2 times negative 3i, and then we'll multiply the 3i times the 2 and the 3i times the negative 3i. This is the product of a sum and a difference. We're going to get a difference of squares, but we'll just multiply it out just to show what happens. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 3i is negative 6i. Two, uh, 3i times 2 is positive 6i. So these are going to drop out. 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. All right, this i squared off to the side here. If i equals the square root of negative 1, then i squared equals negative 1. So each of these i squareds is really negative 1. And I'm just going to write that in right there so I don't have to rewrite this whole thing. Negative 24 times negative 1 is going to be positive 24, and negative 9 times negative 1 will be positive 9. Okay, let's rewrite this. 8, uh, negative 12, and negative 16i. Negative 12i and negative 16i gives us negative 28i, and then plus 24 all over 4 plus nine. The six negative six i and positive six i cancel out or add to zero and then four plus nine. Negative nine times positive um negative nine times negative one is positive nine. Simplify this a little bit more and eight plus twenty four is thirty two. Thirty two minus twenty eight i and four plus nine is thirteen and I'm gonna bring this right up here and standard says that we want to write the real part and the imaginary part so I'm gonna break this up and say 32 divided by 13 minus 28 over 13 I and that is the process to divide complex numbers